Welcome to Lesson 5 from Pure Golf Training on the 5 Laws of Impact. Today's lesson in Lesson 5 is going to be centeredness of hit. In the first lessons we've covered face, we've covered path and we've covered angle of attack. Now centeredness of hit. Now assuming that our face and our path, face is squaring up, the path is down the line and we've got the appropriate angle of attack for the type of club and shot we're trying to hit, what happens now is if, if we hit the middle of the club, we are going to get the best quality shot. Now, any sport you've played, baseball, tennis, table tennis, any hitting sport, you get your best result when you hit it in the middle of the bat. Everybody knows that. The biggest influence in golf that stops us from a centeredness of our strike is the axis angles of our body that we're turning around. If we change the axis that the golf club is orbiting around during its swing, we're changing the center of the golf swing. Obviously the ball's fixed, it's sitting on the ground. So if our swing center moves, then we are more likely going to miss hit the golf shot. Now there's a few ways your swing center can move. It can move by moving up or down, which would be causing either fat shots, if it was too far down, or thin shots, if it was too far up, and obviously everybody who first started playing this game, they remember completely missing the ball and being told that we were lifting our head. Now, in reality, nobody ever lifts their head in golf. This is what lifting your head would look like. No one actually does that. What they do is they lift their body up in an attempt to lift the ball up in the air when we first start to play golf. And of course, they get told to keep their head down, keep your head down, and then the body still comes up and then we've got all sorts of complications that keep golf coaches in business for many years. So what centeredness of hit, the biggest influence is the axis of your back and being able to turn and return around the axis of the back without that moving up or down. Of course the second way we can muck this up is we can move from side to side because once again I'm moving my my swing centre. So if I get too far over here even though I might stay in the axis from from this point of view I'm out of my swing centre from this point of view. This obviously also affects where the club bottoms out, angle of attack, and it's highly unlikely that I'm going to make a good contact with it. Now, there are other influences. Plane is a very big influence in centeredness of hit, but we've pretty much covered that in path. If the club is parallel to the ground when it's parallel to the line of the target, you're going to be on plane, and that's not going to cause any heel or toe shots or fat or thin shots. What is, is moving either up or down this way or too much this way. Keeping your head still is not the answer. Your head needs to stay centered and we need to be able to turn and then return around an axis which is a point that's running just down forward of where our backbone is. It's an imaginary axis. It isn't a physical structure in there but with training we can learn the feel of what it feels like to turn and return around that axis. Now I'm going to spin around side on and demonstrate here what I've just done is stuck the toe of a club in the ground here and what I'm now going to do is I'm demonstrate this. This is actually an extension of the angle of my back. So this is the axis angle that we want to stay in. Now, if I lift up on the backswing, you can see that the club's dropped down. I've come out of the axis of my back. I've lifted up. I've moved out of my swing centre. No amount of keeping your head down is going to fix that problem. Or if, like a lot of golfers who try to keep their head down, is they actually bend over even more on the way down, on the way back to try and keep their head down, once again, you see I've lost the club, so I've changed the angle of my back. Now, the club's not going to get any longer or shorter. The ball's not going anywhere. There's going to be huge compensations required if I'm going to make solid contact with that. So ideally, on the backswing, we want to be able to turn around that axis angle of our back. And with doing this little exercise with the club in the ground, you can see the stick's still there. Now, on the way down, if I lift up and move out this way, the club drops away. That's a very common fault with people trying to scoop and force the ball up in the air. Or this one again, if I get too much this way, the club gets pushed out and it's because the axis of my back is moving up or down. This particular drill actually helps with the centeredness of hit as well because it's hard to move side to side. So what we want to do with this drill is we want to be able to turn, return, make contact with it and only on the way through have that club drop away Generally, it sits back on the heel of your right foot and then you can pick it back up. So this fits nicely with our, our delivery drill that we're doing with our, our chip stick. Where I'm turning and returning around the axis of my back. Okay, another great drill that you can use, I just bring in the plastic garden chair here, is 
just sitting up and the girl's much more comfortable with this one girl so don't worry I know I, I know what you're thinking this one's good you can feel that you, the uh, top of your right leg is just touching the chair the top of your left leg's just touching the chair generally a chair with a little bit of a curve gives us a good feeling of this so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn around our right leg on the backswing so that stays in contact with the chair if I go this way I've come away from the chair if I go this way I push the chair away now what we want to do is get our left leg back so both legs are touching the chair which means the axis of our back is the same and then turn on through around that and then you can come up nice and straight at the finish that's a great one for hitting balls as well to get the feeling of the axis of your back now from front on the centeredness of hit set up position of your head is your impact position now what I like to do and I don't like people to try and stay behind the ball but what I like people to do is practice in front of a mirror and for a mid iron for instance the left side of your face will be level with the back of the ball if we've got that uh, mid iron ball position that I talked about in the previous lesson and what we want to feel is at the moment of impact our head returns back to that point we don't want to back away this way try and scoop it in the air or move past it this way and the best way to practice that is in front of a mirror some of my students put a piece of tape down the mirror so they can practice looking turning back and then returning to impact so they're centered from a face-on point of view so if we're not moving up or down this way and we're not moving side to side this way and we've got face path and angle of attack working now we are making solid contact every time zero side spin dead straight beautiful trajectory golf shots.